and welcome to my channel today we are going to make something easy i wanted to make the round tower this is a request from a friend of mine so i am just working on this one i made it around um one and a half two centimeters tall and uh, this is just a snake that i rolled out cut off both ends and now i'm shaping it into a um six-sided thing i don't know what that's called uh but the shape is six-sided uh you can see it um here in a second what's that a honeycomb honeycomb shape i think that is so that's the first part then i am cutting out some very thin strips that is a tiny bit taller than my tower is and I'm placing one of these strips on each corner of my tower. Then I'm going to make an indent for the doorway and a lot of small indents for a lot of small windows just like you see me do here one at a time all the way up the tower on all sides of the tower. If the small strips on top of the building is a bit bent, just uh, straighten them out before you're going to bake it. After baking the building, I am cutting out a new strip and placing a tiny bit of bacon bond on these top parts here. And I am placing this strip on top of them and I found out it's easier if you just cut off small parts that fits between every second of these. So just do it like you see me do here, that's the easier way to do it. When I'm happy with that I am putting some bacon bond here on the top of the tower and I'm rolling out a little oblong piece that I'm cutting off one end just one end of it making sure it's standing up straight and then i'm going to place it here on top of the tower for a little extra detail and then i'm gonna bake it for the last time when it has cooled down i am going to paint it a tiny bit and i'm using some black citadel paint here and i'm just kind of um brushing it on with this um I, I actually think this is a makeup sponge uh so i'm just putting it on there and then i'm going to rub it off again and i decided to use a bigger brush instead and then using the um, makeup sponge to rub it off again i'm doing this to get some black paint into the small crevices especially the windows and the door frames and then I'm going to leave it to dry when I'm happy with this. When that paint is all dry, I am taking a tiny bit of white paint, putting it on the makeup brush and dry it, drying it off on this paper towel, and then kind of dry brushing it over the little tower. And that's all there is for it to make this little round tower. Um, I know it's a very simple little thing, but it can be used for a little decoration in the house in 1 to 12 if you want to. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!